Hey YouTube, I'm going to address something really quick here, and it has to do with uh, Kate Middleton photoshopping photos. Some of you may or may not know that I've been a photo a photojournalist for over 20 years now, and uh, I worked in Canada's Parliament. I also photographed many royal tours. Okay, so I'm going to comment on this whole Photoshop controversy. Basically, everybody's getting this wrong. All royal handouts and all government handouts are Photoshop. Period. There's many reasons for this. Like I said, I've worked a couple of royal tours. Here's how it's going to work. Whenever they have a, a group portrait, like we saw with Kate and her kids and all that stuff, it's hard to get everything perfect. One kid may be having his hands like this. Another's going to be like that. They're, everybody's going to wonder, what's going on? What's happening? What does this mean? You know, Or one kid has his tongue sticking out like this. You can't run a photo like that. You can't have a handout where the person looks like that. That's not realistic. So they're going to choose the best moments for each child and the princess and all this stuff. And they're going to put it all together for a package. This is normal. All right. This is not deception, whatever. Everybody's combing through all these photos saying it's been manip manipulated. Photojournalist photos are not supposed to be manipulated. This let's be honest. This isn't photojournalism. This is a government handout. All right. Like the big portrait of um, the royal family. Uh, where they're sitting on the couch and some people are standing up behind there and then the baby is looking at the camera. If you know how hard it is to get a baby to look at the camera, usually the photographer or the assistant has to practically startle a baby to like look right into the camera. And at that point, all the other relatives look at the, at the photographer or the baby, right? This is an issue. So the baby is going to be taken in a separate photo and they're going to Photoshop the the premium picture of that baby staring at the camera so then you get all the people that are behind like um you know like prince william was looking a little pissy in one of the pictures and and whatever they're gonna wait till that one person's smiling that the other person has their eyes open often i find older ladies i'm not trying to generalize they're always looking around like this they're easily distracted and there's a lot going on in the room. It's not just a photographer. They have assistants. They have makeup artists. People fussing. It's very distracting. And you only have about 30 seconds to get that image because they need to move on. So, that being said, don't rag on Kate for being photoshopped. This is standard fare, like I said. My grandfather got a portrait from the Queen because he helped set up the RCMP's Landau, it's called. It's basically a carriage for the Queen when she came to... Uh, Ottawa back in the 60s and as a thank you they gave him uh, this portrait it's up, up in my hallway and I photographed the Queen several times now I'm not going to Photoshop it because I'm a photojournalist and there's no need to I have a chance to get like a hundred pictures and she's there for you know 10-15 minutes you have your moment to do it right and it, I'm not doing a portrait type of situation but I noticed that the portrait that my grandfather got um, Prince Philip's eyes were photoshopped because probably they were either overexposed or he was squinting or whatever. So I could see that they burnt, it's called a, you can burn and dodge. These are techniques in photography. So they basically burnt in his eyes in there um, uh, to look like, like his eyes were open. And because that guy is using um, eight by 10 cameras, uh, he may only have, let's say five minutes and it's going to, the fastest he can shoot is basically one picture per minute. So he gets five chances. And the queen might look perfect in one photo. And the prince looks like shit in the other. And the prince might look perfect in one photo. And the queen looks like shit in the other or slightly off. And he gets instructions from whomever. Like, you can't put that out. Uh, you know, the queen's looking like this. But, but the prince looks good. They'll blend the two together. All right? It's not deception. This is not photojournalism. These are government handouts. Don't get upset. This isn't a conspiracy. This is common. Just like every portrait of the Prime Minister or President of the United States, every portrait has been photoshopped and groomed and handpicked. Okay? So everybody needs to chill on her. This isn't a conspiracy. All right? That's about it. Take it easy. You've learned something today.